This is carbon black, a type of carbon that is commonly used as an additive in lead batteries to improve their charge acceptance and cycle life. Given that it is carbon, it looks very black. But what makes it work well in lead batteries? And how is it different from graphites, activated carbons, and other carbons? There are two main characteristics of carbon black additives, surface area and particle size, that differentiate them from other carbons. Carbon blacks are small particles when dispersed, and their surface areas can range from very low to very high, whereas graphites and activated carbons are large particles whose surface area is either limited, as in graphites, or less accessible, as in activated carbons. Due to smaller particle size, a much higher number of carbon black particles can be used at the same mass loading and battery applications. These smaller particles deposit between and at the surface of the lead crystallites and form a conductive network both within the skeleton and the energetic structures of the electrodes. Due to these differences in surface area and particle size, carbon black additives offer the best opportunity to design and incorporate a large and accessible conductive surface area in the negative electrode of a lead battery. These facts regarding carbon additives are well demonstrated and known in the industry. In commercial lead batteries used in microhybrid cars with start-stop and regenerative braking functionality, two to three times longer cycle life and higher dynamic charge acceptance are seen with the incorporation of carbon additives. The incorporation of carbon black in the negative active mass in a lead-acid battery has multiple effects on performance. First, carbon itself improves dynamic charge acceptance by acting as a supercapacitor, accepting charge by double-layer effect. In parallel, carbon assists the Faradaic electrochemical reactions by extending the conducting surface area in the electrode where lead can be deposited. During high-rate charge and discharge cycles, lead sulfate crystals grow to a point where they can no longer be fully dissolved. Carbon black additives can significantly extend partial state of charge cycle life by preventing lead sulfate crystal growth by impacting electrode porosity and related steric hindrance. The resulting smaller lead sulfate crystals are easier to fully dissolve during recharge, resulting in an extended cycle life. There are several dimensions of the carbon black structure that can be controlled by Cabot's manufacturing process. This tight control results in reproducible, specifically engineered particles and dependable high-performance results. Surface area, packing density, porosity, and surface properties are all elements that Cabot can exert specific control over when formulating our carbon blacks. Surface area is determined by the size and porosity of the primary particles, and the packing density is determined by the aggregate size and type. Depending on the manufacturing process, carbon blacks can have different type of surface groups and different level of graphite structures within the primary particles. Surface properties can affect the impact of carbon on hydrogen evolution, charge efficiency, and stability of the carbon towards oxidation. These surface properties and the microstructure of the carbon black particle itself can be controlled with our manufacturing technology. Cabot produces its conductive grades of carbon black used in battery applications with a special high purity feedstock to ensure that the presence of transition metals like iron, nickel, chromium, and manganese are minimized. Some metal impurities have low overpotential and catalyze the hydrogen evolution reaction. The heart of the carbon black process is the reactor, where the properties of the carbon black are determined by carefully controlling the process. The process begins when feedstock is injected into the reaction chamber, where part of it burns to generate heat and the rest undergoes pyrolysis, forming precursor particles that in turn collide to form primary particles. Cabot can control collisions between carbon particles in the reactor, thereby controlling the size of the resulting primary particles, or primaries. More precursor collisions equal larger primaries. Less precursor collisions equal smaller primaries. Primaries then collide with each other, bonding to form a cluster of particles called an aggregate. Cabot controls these collisions too, and more primary collisions equal larger aggregates. Less primary collisions equal smaller aggregates. As a result of this tightly controlled process, Cabot can create the optimal type of particle morphology during production for specific battery performance needs, increasing the surface area of negative electrodes, and therefore further improving charge acceptance and cycle life, while controlling surface properties that impact hydrogen evolution and water loss.
In the future, stricter emissions regulations will require lower emission producing vehicles that will require higher performing lead batteries. Continual improvement of dynamic charge acceptance will be necessary in meeting evolving industry standards. Carbon additives will play a critical role in enabling these future improvements, and Cabot's technology will continue to evolve and push the envelope of what is possible to enable next-generation materials. Visit cabotcorp.com batteries to learn more.